all right people what is going on back with another video i hope you guys like the new intro that i got i decided to put that together because just getting into the the content was cool but i wanted to put an intro out this hopefully you guys liked it uh nevertheless uh today we're going to be talking more about georgia southern football we're going to be talking about uh what's going on in the quarterback situation and we're going to actually find out who is kevin speed we're going to find out about that in a few seconds all right let's get into this welcome to the first and frame race channel i am vl baller over here we talk about georgia southern football we also talk about atlanta falcons football good win by the falcons beating the saints that was awesome also um I don't really talk about this much, but I do have a Patreon. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down in the description. You get extra content over there and uh, a lot of good, um, a lot of good information over there as well. So if you don't mind checking it out, it's some really good content over there, some exclusive stuff for you guys over there, and um, it's going to be some more stuff headed your way this week. So you guys check that stuff out. All right, let's get into this. Coach Witt had a press conference once again. A shout out to Josh Aubrey of the Statesboro Herald. He does a phenomenal job of putting out this information. And he said, Coach Witt said, there's a good chance that Karen Ransom will start a Sunday at Texas State. This is long overdue, in my opinion. If you've seen what has happened with the Georgia State game, you've seen what happened with the Coastal Carolina game, both of those games were fairly winnable. It is argue, you can make an argument that most of these games earlier this year was winnable as well. But the problem was the quarterback we had, Justin Tomlin, just was not getting it done. Now, you know, it's it, it's very unfortunate because he has a talent. But when you see the the some of the passes that have been thrown, some of the interceptions, some of the fumbles, um, not able to run the option as well as we could. Uh, it, 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 I think this was long overdue, in my opinion. Cam Ransom comes in against Coastal Carolina, march right down the field to get a touchdown. Him and the guy I've been talking about a lot. Derwin Burgess, Derwin Burgess, Derwin Burgess, Amari Jones, but more Derwin Burgess. I think this guy is a talent that nobody's touching, and hopefully Clay Helton will exploit that talent and use it to our benefit, but that's another story for another day. I'm not going to get into that. Nevertheless, Cam Ransom goes down to get eight points. Yes, I said eight points. Touchdown and a two-point conversion within the span of three, three and a half minutes. I mean, if we get that out the onset in the beginning where we can continue to push our, uh, our offense the way that that offense is ran, I think we could beat anybody. A lot of these games this year, we could have won because of that style of offense. Now, don't get me wrong. I know how people feel about the option. I don't think it should be eradicated, but the way it's ran, we have guys in position to not be as successful because the way it's ran. I feel that if you have, you know, a, a quarterback that can pitch the ball a little bit better, some guys who can cut up field a little bit better, will be a, a, a much, much uh, sound offense. Now, when you look at this situation, I honestly feel that these guys that have been playing have been successful due to their talents. This has been going on for not just this season, but seasons prior. You have guys who've been doing very well with their talent not because of the game plan and i'll stick by that there's nothing against the coaches or whatever case may be but i feel that we have been doing a lot better because of our talent not because of the game plan being drawn up uh, there's a lot of questionable stuff that's been going on with the game plan and you see that it just hasn't been as successful hence that what's been going on with the changes within georgia southern i think that's going to be a little bit steady once we get more stability with uh, the new head coach i can't wait to see how that plays out and i think at the end of the day with cam ransom going on to texas state i think we're going to see a totally different type of team the the guys that play galvanize around cam ransom they get around um the concept of the offense that could be ran around him a lot of these guys that are on the team now and i'm not trying to you know you know split the wood or 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 or, or, or split hairs or anything like that but i know there's a lot of guys on this team who prefer this style of offense what cam ransom brings to the table we all know how offenses are ran around the world of college football we know how it is yes the option is very effective but you just have guys that are on this team that are more catered to the to a different style of offense that is outside of the option like i said as soon as cam ransom came in the game we were very successful moving the ball we need that excuse me we need that on the onset we need that out the gate to where we could be much more successful because like i said if we play this style of offense even with justin tomlin throwing the ball around against tech with georgia state it was successful for the most part if we get more of that out of the gate we could be competitive with anybody and um 
this is this is the way it should go i cannot wait to see what happens at texas state and um i i'm, I'm pretty excited i will talk more about the texas state georgia southern matchup on the first and frame rate show later on and then probably the next upload because i will be doing the podcast that podcast is every wednesday you can check that out here on this channel or you can find it on google uh i'm sorry itunes spotify and anchor you can check it out on that area on those uh platforms all right now let's talk about who is kevin speed who is this guy and where did he come from all right let's go ahead and get into that kevin speed is one six foot three 195 out of cairo georgia um he has recently uh committed to georgia southern and I'm very excited about this because we already know we need depth at quarterback. And there's another quarterback that just got uh, that was just offered a, a scholarship, but we'll talk about him a little bit later. There's no need to talk about the offers. I want to talk about the commits. And Kevin Speed has committed. Right now he is a quarterback slash defensive back. Both of those are needs. And it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with him at this position. Will he be able to run? Uh, uh, um, would he be able to run as a defensive back or would he be able to run as a quarterback will he give Cam Rant some competition all right what we're going to do now we're going to look at some of the highlights that this kid has six foot three 195 3.0 GPA out of Cairo Georgia let's take a look at this now this kid like I said he's just got he just committed to Georgia Southern we're going to look at him right here this is him at quarterback right here and he looks very similar to number 19 already. I mean, if you've seen any of Cameron Rant's, Cam Rant's highlights, you already seen this already. It's almost like a carbon copy. I mean, running it for a touchdown, like I said, the option is it's not going to be out of the question when you got this kind of type of quarterback. Also, you're going to see the arm right here, throwing the ball down the field, good catch by that receiver. You cannot ask for nothing better than that. And this is him as a defensive back. You know, with Derek Canteen, Najee Thompson is probably going to be coming back playing cornerback. We could use a safety like this. I mean, this guy is huge, 6'3", 195. I mean, you're looking at somebody uh, of the mindset of a Kendrick Duncan, somebody like that. And here he is coming up to stop the run. Here he is. Uh, what a tackle right there. So this kid can do it all. This is him actually playing cornerback at this, po at this uh, point. And look, he comes in, break away. A break into the, the tackle what a play right there here he is right here once again playing quarterback there he is oh what a move right there gets a few yards nice spin move right there so not only he can throw he can actually catch as well so this is him this is him once again throwing the ball to the other side nice way to drop the ball right there this is what is needed at georgia southern this is exactly what is needed it's good to have him as a commit i can't wait to see him versus cam ransom We're gonna have some competition also there's another quarterback that may be um like i said maybe uh committing to georgia southern so if you see what you if you see this right you already know that there's a change there's about to be a change in georgia southern football. what a throw there's going to be a change at georgia southern football there's there's the yeah, i mean it, it's, it's already known now that we're not going to be running any triple option not with these type of quarterbacks you got dual threat quarterbacks that are here at georgia southern not only who can throw the ball down the field and they can actually run i mean you see this right here i mean dude has like speed like crazy and his name is kevin speed there's a reason why I mean, he has the speed and he can throw the ball so basically this is what we're looking at here kevin speed congratulations for the you know getting to commit at a pretty prominent college thank you for committing to georgia southern man we can't wait to have you out here on the field whatever what you're going to do whether it be quarterback or defensive back between you cam ransom anyone else that's going to be uh under center or playing shotgun we are in good hands at georgia southern right now we're going to be all right when it comes to the quarterback position we don't have to worry too much about what's going to happen when the ball is snapped and with the offense that we are running i feel that we're going to be in good hands I cannot complain. This is just good stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and enjoy watching this as much as I have. And that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button, share this video, let people know what I'm doing over here. 
like I said, over here, we are talking about Georgia Southern football. We're also talking about Atlanta Falcons football. And right now, we're looking at Cam Ransom. We're looking at Kevin Speed. We may be looking at other type of quarterbacks. And it's going to be a pretty good situation to where um, the depth chart, the talent, and the stability of Georgia Southern, especially so far on offense, is going to be looking good. Can't wait to see what it looks like on defense as well. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. You guys be blessed.